We're going to be doing a lab today where we're going to be analyzing and comparing the period, frequency, and amplitude of sound waves from various instruments. And we're going to be doing this using something called a lab quest. So does everybody have one of these lab quests at their table? Yes? Okay. So we already started with our quick write where I modeled how to calculate the period, frequency, and amplitude of the waveform provided on the very front of the lab. Okay, so you should have that in your notes to refer to while we're actually doing the lab today. And so now we're going to go ahead and get started with the Science of Sound Waves lab. So if you press the button in the upper right, a blue light should come on, and so that means the power is on. And at every single table, we have at least one person that has the microphone probe, right? You're going to be picking three different instruments. And by instruments, it can be anything that produces some sort of sound. So can anybody think of an instrument that they can use that we use every day when we're just talking? Voice. Your voice, OK? So that can be one of your instruments that you can sample today. Additionally, I have some whistles. So if you want to choose one or two people to use a whistle to test the sound wave, that would be great. I also have um, one of my old keyboards, okay? So you can test the different um, keys and notes to figure out what the sound waves look like. You'll pick your very first instrument, and then you're going to go ahead and use the microphone probe to graph and analyze each sound wave from each instrument. That's our period. And one divided by zero. So let's see the piano match. Zero point zero. If we're going to be analyzing the period and the amplitude, what is what are the two most important values that you you get out of this graph? The, the, the crest, the highest crest, and the lowest trough. Excellent. This would be easier if our graphs were like theirs. Yeah. Like squares, <laughs> little squares. The same size. You're right. Yeah, so if you use. Where's your guys' the stylus for this right there? Okay, so you can actually. Why don't we try and. We highlight a section. We go, I think if we go analyze, graph. zoom in, it'll zoom into that one section. Okay, so then we can go back by going graph, zoom out. So there's a certain section that you want to actually look at. You just highlight that and then graph zoom in. Okay. Okay? Sweet. Thanks. So now we're going to analyze the graph that you took of the sound wave produced by a whistle. So how would you find the change in time of your graph? You might want to look at your equations page in your notebook and find the equation for change in time. Time final over time initial. Is it time final over? Are we dividing? I believe so. Okay, do you have your equations page? We need to use a keyboard? Time. And oh, subtract. Great. So T final minus T initial will give you your change in time. Okay, so you subtracted. 0.28 from 1.75. I like to go to 4. And you got 0.294. Is that your period? Is your change in time your period? No, but then I divided by 5. It's not negative. And why would you divide by 5? How do you know to do that? Yeah, that's how you find the average So you find the average period by dividing the change in time by the total number of cycles in that time. So you find your period by dividing your change in time by your number of cycles. Okay. And how do you do, know to do that? So think back to the definition of period. What is period asking you to find? 
Look at your foldables. What is the definition of period again? Remind me. Cycles. Cycles. What? What is it? Period. The last was the worst one. Yeah. Help him out. Okay, the time it takes a source to complete one cycle. So if it does five cycles in 0.29 seconds, you can find the average period by dividing the number of cycles into the average time or the change in time. Okay. And so what do we get? If you divide 0.294 by 5, calculator. Okay, so you got 0, 0.0, should we round up? Great, 0 0.06. And what are the units of period? Seconds? Why is it seconds? <coughs> Why are the units of period seconds? It, ma it makes yeah. it's going by really fast. It's going by really fast, but I mean, think back again to that definition of period. We're going to revisit it again. So, why do we measure period in seconds? Because period is time over seconds. It's time, right? It's the time it takes. So we know it's seconds. That's how you can double check. Okay, great. If you know period, how can you calculate frequency? Is there an equation for that? What was it? So the year does affect. Excellent. So how did you know that? Where did you find that equation? In my notebook. It's in your notebook. Okay, so frequency is 1 divided by period. Great. So if you have period, you can find the frequency by dividing it by 1.